CC Rock, I am Metal Matt, and what? What? You can't hear me good? Well, move the camera closer. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot I didn't bring a camera guy with me this week because we have a killer, scary Halloween edition of CC Rock. This is, it's so scary, I can't even get a camera guy to go out in the field with me and help me out. So you'll see a lot of Metal Matt on camera and behind the camera. That's right, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff because this is what I call the Blue Oyster Cult Witch Project. Nobody knows about this in Walnut Creek. It's very a hidden phenomenon of a small minute amount of people even even having history of this. But you know, we're gonna venture into our favorite community of Rossmore where there are many old timers there who have the, the facts, the interest, the, the whole information about things that Blue Oyster Cult Witch Project that nobody even knows. Like things about Godzilla and the Reaper and Bernie for you, things that are just really intense. But it's so scary. I think you know, if younger kids, maybe you better go to bed right about now because this is going to be pretty scary stuff. And I don't want people to go get nightmares just because it's Halloween and all that stuff around this time of year. You know, it's going to be scary stuff. But you know what else we're going to have? We're going to have some great music reviews from some really cool reissues and some new discs. So it's going to be a great episode of CC Rock. So sit back, relax, hang with me for the next half hour. Hey, I'm going inside right now. Just, just come on, just come with me. Come on, let's go. Well, here we are, Rossmore. We're gonna go to the source and find out from some of these old timers at Rossmore all about this Bullish Cold Witch project. So come on, let's go check it out, man. Come on, here we go. This is, uh, I think this is, uh, it's, somebody told me this is probably a good place to start. Somebody here might know something, so let's give it a shot. Hello. Hi, I, I'm Metal Matt with CC Rock. I'm just, you know, going door to door to find out about this Blue or Colt Witch Project. I've heard the old timers here at Rossmore know lots about it. So I'm just thinking maybe you can enlighten me a little bit about it, help our fans at home at CC Rock know a little bit more about this. I don't know a thing about it. I haven't heard anything about it. You haven't heard anything about the Blue or Colt Witch Project? I mean, this is supposed to be a phenomenon of Walnut Creek, but these guys in the hills doing witchcraft and all kinds of voodoo stuff. I mean, have, have you seen a lot of scary stuff no. around here? Or? No, I haven't. Nothing scary all we at all? have is a bunch of hoot owls. Bunch of, bunch of hooters? Where? <laughs> I don't see a bunch of hooters. Well, kind, you, kind of sag. Me. What? Who did you say you were? I, I'm Metal Matt with CC Rock, and I'm here to you know find out about the store. I really, I well, really. I've never heard of you before. I've never seen you before. Well, so why don't you just leave? Well, I, I don't want to leave. I want the story. Just give me some information, just a little bit, please. Hey, lady, I don't have that okay on me, man. Go ahead. The amazing. I'm still Metal Mad, and I am backstage with the two principal members of Blue Oyster Colt, Eric Bloom, Buck Dharma. How you guys doing? 
I'm at Excellent. Really, Excellent. You know, you guys were here a few years back at Slim's. I mean, The Edge. You guys play this area a lot. Here you at the Contra Costa County Fair, jamming away. I mean, you guys, you guys have been going almost 30 years now. Yes, almost 30 years, man. I mean, look at the, oh, what's this? He's got in his hand here. Eric Bloom has got something in his hand here. We've got to take a look at this. What, what do you have in your hand there, Mr. Bloom? <laughs> He's promoting it to the nose. This is our newest album. It's coming out June 5th, this coming Tuesday, as we speak. It's called The Curse of the Hidden Mirror. 11 songs from BOC. Brand new on CMC Sanctuary Records. Well, you know what? This is something I've been waiting for a long time. You know, I, I love the last one, but this one, it has a very full sound. I mean, you hear the drums very clearly. You hear the bass is really, Danny's doing a hot job on the bass on this disc. And you guys, you guys kick into gear. I mean, this is something, I mean, Showtime, The Pocket. How was it creating this disc? Uh, well, we took a long time making this record. We, we wanted it to sound good. We got a lot of good new material. We're very happy about it. We want you to be happy about it. Well, I think they'll be very happy. I mean, I listened to the cuts. Mark Roper, a good buddy from Sanctuary, CMC, sent it out to me. And I was like, okay, let, let's take a listen to this. But I was like, I haven't been this excited about a disc until, um, since Unleash the Beast from Saxon. <laughs> my last chance. I mean, I've been to eight houses now and I've had no luck. It's getting late. It's dark out here. I'm getting scared, man. This is really getting scary stuff. So, you know, nobody seems to know anything about this bluish occult witch product. So I'm going to give it one last try. So come with me. Let's, let's hope I get some, some, you know, fruitful efforts here. Cause I'm, come on, come on. Don't be scared. Come on, man. Let's go a little closer, a little closer. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, there you go. Now stay right there. Now this might be my lucky house. I'm a metal mat with CC Rock, and I've been going around the neighborhood here at Rossmore trying to find information about this Blue Oyster Cult witch project. 
Do you have any information? I, I'm really, I'm eager to find out about this. I know you, the old timers around here know about all those subjects and stuff like this, you know? I think you're a strange one. What, what music do you play? You know, CC Rock, you know, we play all that hard rock, heavy metal stuff from the 70s, oh, 80s, and 90s. Oh, good heavens, don't you have any Frank Sinatra or Barbara Streisand? Something mellower? Aren't those people dead? No, why don't you go take a hike up in the hills? Wait, 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 I need some information, lady. Just give me some information. I don't have any Come information. On, tell me you something. are weird. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's time for the CC Rock Review, your place to find out where the best hard rock and heavy metal discs are coming out. First up is Loverboy with Live, Loud, and Loose. Recorded in 1982 through 1986, this live disc captures all the excitement of Loverboy at their prime. It scores an 8 on the CC Rockometer.
Another great one is Enough's Enough with 10. Now this disc is definitely a 10 with songs like Fly Away, Wake Up, a great group that was opening up on the Grand Slam Metal Jam, which got canceled unfortunately out here on the West Coast, but definitely Enough's Enough comes around again. Check them out and definitely check out 10, which is a 10 on the CC Rockometer. There's been a lot of great reissues lately, and the first up we have Accept with Balls to the Wall. Now this is a great reissue with songs like Head Over Heels and Love Child Live. I mean, great band live, but I'll tell you what, Accept, Udo Dirkschneider, you couldn't have beat them back in the 80s. They were one of the top German Teutonic attacks as far as guitar. Next to the Scorpions, of course. Balls to the Wall scores a 9 on the CC Rockometer. Next up is the best of Britney Fox, a big hair band you could say from the 80s, but these guys actually put out some pretty good rocket numbers with songs like Girl School, Long Way Home. It scores a 7 on the CC Rockometer. Next up is one of my favorite bands from Switzerland, Crocus with Headhunter, a great reissue with songs like Screaming in the Night, Stayed Awake All Night, a lot of songs that deal with the night, let's face it, this, this band likes the night. Russian Winter, Stand to Be Counted, Crocus Headhunter scores an 8 on the CC Rockama. Next up is Europe with The Final Countdown. I mean, let's face it, these guys, John Norum, great guitar, they were an amazing band when they came out their first album. Songs like Rock the Night Away, Carrie, a great hard rockin' band, and this band definitely I wish would come back and do something in the future. Europe, the final countdown, scores an 8 on the CC Rockometer. The last two discs are reissues from Sony Legacy, and I'll tell you what, this is the very first Bluish Occult disc. It has some great songs on it, like Screams, Stairway to the Stars, Cities on Flame with Rock and Roll, and some great classic pictures in here. It scores a 7 CCs on the Rockometer. And the last disc, one of my favorites from Bluish Occult, Agents of Fortune. A classic disc with some great pictures from Bluster Colt and also some very good music. ETI, Don't Fear the Reaper, and some bonus tracks. Something you will never, you know, ever heard before ever, I'm sure. Fire of an Unknown Origin, the original version, and Don't Fear the Reaper, a demo version. These are some cool stuff. It gets nine CCs on the Rock Hour. And that wraps up this month's CC Rock Review. Keep rocking, Bay Area. And remember, support your music scene. Oh, okay. I made it up the hill. And this is, this is supposed to be the area where this rare Blue Oyster Cold Wage project originated. Those old ladies didn't tell me much, but you know, I'm starting to think I'm on the right path, so we're almost there. Come on, follow me up. Do you see I'm getting farther up this hill? I just haven't done any. Wait a second! Look at those things! Those look like horns! My gosh! Those are the devil's horns of the Blue Oyster Cold Wage project. I think I should go up there, investigate this, check this out, because I'm sure there's something up there that really might. Holy moly. When that lady was talking about who the hell she wasn't kidding. I'll be right back. My main goal up here today is I'm working on a project it's called the Bullish Cold Witch Project. Do you know anything about this Bullish Cold? I mean, I saw these horns coming out of this rock over here. I mean, you know, this is pretty phenomenal. I mean, and this has got to be some sign They're right here. This has got to be part of it. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Ranger. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, then maybe you could help me find this, this source of this place that's, you know, pussy originated around here. I, I don't know exactly where it is, but maybe you could help me out. And I'll tell you what. I'll I'll help you home and get you off this hill. Pretty good deal? Okay, whatever. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I think I found a sign. You found something. My god, you're amazing. Oh, 
wait, wait. This sign over here looks like something might be very important. This is a sign I found. Oh, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> a lot. Uh, yeah. This is actually the sign I'm looking for. This looks like a sign of the Blue Oyster Cult Witch Project. And wait a second, wait, wait. Look, turn right over there, look over there, look over there, look at that. What's this? This must be the hideout where they do all their voodoo. Oh my God. God, this is amazing, we found it, I can't believe it. Found it's amazing. Yay, Yay. 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 Wait, wait, wait a second, I heard something. Let's get out of here, run, right. get out of here, they're here. Let's go, get out of here. Go, run, save yourself. I know you don't know where you're going, but run anyhow. Ah! Great job with your website. She's out in the stands tonight. I know she's done an outstanding job. I, mean, I love your website. How important is the website actually to BOC? Uh, well, we have a lot of fans in cyberspace, so it uh, keeps people up to date with our tour schedule or what's our new stuff going on. They actually have pictures of us in the studio on the site. It's pretty comprehensive. Yeah, it's the home base for BOC on the cyber, cyber web there. Well, it's coming more important every day, and I know that something else that's kind of important, Joe Dirt. We did an interview last night with Eddie Money. He has three songs on the, on the soundtrack. You guys have a song on the soundtrack, which is? Um, Fox or Tell It was burning for you, yeah. <laughs>
Anybody out there? It's Meadow Mountain CC Rock. Hi there. I've lost this hill up here. I had no idea where that girl went. I think those Blizzard Coat Witch Project people probably got her. Probably doing some sacrifice or something like that with her. Lucky guys. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> if you like in touch with me, Metal Matt, you can always give me a call at 925. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next, next few months with some good stuff on Billy Squire, Bad Company, and yes, so keep rocking. Just don't get scared. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Hello? Anybody out there? Hello?